So yes, guys, this is the California Condor, and it's with absolutely no regret that I inform you all that I've been a bad boy, running headfirst right back into the racket jungle. The foliage is thick. I'm more lost than I've ever been, but I'm enjoying every step of the way. Tennis Warehouse has sent me a brand spanking new toy. By the title, I'm sure you already know what it is. I'm a Dunlop devil, baby. I couldn't help myself, and I had to try the brand new edition of uh, the Powerline the rival to the Babylon Pier Drive, the rival to the Yonex E-Zone. It is none other. Woo! In the bubble wrap. I feel like Alexander Zverev taking out the racket so new it's still got the plastic on it. If I can fig ever figure out this rubber band, maybe I can show you all the ooh, captivating cobalt cosmetic. Mmm. Chef's kiss to this thing. Unbelievable, beautiful blue. Can't wait to wield this thing on court. Let's take a look at the aesthetics and then we're gonna go through the specs and the quality control to see how Dunlop stacks up on that. And after that, we're gonna string it up and hit the courts. Stay tuned, baby. So yes, guys, let me go back on my word and touch on quality control and the specs out the gate. 302, unstrung static weight, three grams under spec. I, I think three grams is an acceptable margin for error, to be honest. And the balance point there, sitting at about eight points headlight. After the strings were put in, I decided to go with uh, Polytor Pro, by the way, going for the poor man's Nick Kyrgios experience. Bumped it up to 317 static, and the balance point went down to five points headlight, which is par for the course once strings are in. Look at that charcuterie board, a little bit inaccurate. But uh, what can I say? I did what I can with the homemade version. 325 grams, un uh, excuse me, static weight once the overgrip and the dampener were on point. And then a moderate middle of the road, six points headlight when all was said and done. And look at that, the matching bag to go with the stenciled, freshly strung rack. Woo, eye candy, baby. Couldn't wait to get out on court here at the indoor clay in the middle of winter. Absolutely thrilled to be able to do this. And again, this is just a, ooh, Chapel special. This is just a first impressions video. So only one hit in with this racket. So a little bit limited on, you know, my insight here, but I'll, I'll speak on it for a few minutes as to how I played. Again, just this one go around as I try to fake slide there. But what can I say? Whippy through the air, baby. Fast paced through the air. Got some serious racket head speed with this sucker. Again, it is a six point headlight, so I, that might qualify as whippy, just on the outer edge of, of, of whippiness, you know what I mean? Once six, seven, eight, nine, that's that's when you really when you get to pro staff territory with the like a wand. Um, so it's flirting with that whippy territory, but much lighter, sitting at, again, 326 grams right now with the string over a dampener in it than I'm used to. Uh, traditionally, I hit with a 345 grams <laughs> racket, which I probably have no business doing. Um, so, felt uh, lighter, speedier, whippier, and uh, the other thing I wanted to touch on was the launch angle was an adjustment for sure. You know, normally I have a bad habit of hitting pretty shallow groundies, need to get some depth on them, and this one, with my loopy forehand um 50 gram excuse me 50 pound tension with these strings and the adjustment period it was numerous forehands flying way beyond the baseline um so that's not a criticism of the racket again it's perfectly normal given the adjustment period playing with any any new stick so I'm gonna give this thing a fair shot i've told myself at least four weeks with it to try to thoroughly gel with it and giving it the proper amount of time. Um, my one knock is, you know, this is a heavy hitter on the other side of the net and he pushed me around. I could scarcely get in any rallies tonight um, and that's more a credit to him or a uh, detriment of mine rather than the racket, but playing against these heavy hitters, it felt a little bit fluttery. Couple serves for you, serve plus ones. Definitely felt like not my best day at the office in terms of serves. I will say it was at the tail end of a long hitting sesh, pushing 90 plus minutes. So, you know, my energy levels weren't <laughs> at their highest, but again, I'll have to 
update you all once I get more playtime with it uh, as to how the serves treat me, but a uh, little bit more pop, I would say, on my smaller head size with that has much more static weight in the Dunlop CX. So, all right, let's touch on Cosmetic Baby. So let's take a look at more details in the cosmetic, starting with up front and center, the sponsors, the Dunlop Devils actually on tour, wielding this stick, Jack the Draper, a rising British star, I believe he's number 41 in the world, could be mistaken on that, don't quote me on it. Above him, Maxi Purcell, he's more of a double specialist, he's an, he's an Aussie player, he actually bowed out to the Special K's, King Kyrgios and Kakanakis last year in the Aussie Open doubles final, so... Nothing to sneeze at there if he's making Grand Slam finals. He's also got the golden locks, sick flow coming out the, the hat or visor, and it actually inspired Longshanks last year to grow his hair out. So very cool. And then we have Ann Lee. I hate to break it to y'all. I have no idea who it was. I actually, 98 square inch hoop, 305 static weight, 1619. Very oversaturated market with that, those exact specs. A bunch of competitors that this thing has to stack up against. We'll see if it can do just that. On the throat. FX 500 Tour. Love this beautiful blue, man. Unbelievable. Dunlop on the other side. Mm, just gorgeous. Eye candy. Can't wait. And then inside on the, on the on the throat. Suppose the throat is thicker. Excuse me, stiffer this go around, by the way, um, to give more power. But there we go. Some specs on the inside of the throat. Like I said, 305, 98, 16, 19, 66 RA. A bit softer in the hoop compared to the previous iteration, but the throat supposedly retains a high level of stiffness for more power and on the back there brags about sonic core don't want to get too much into this marketing jargon sonic core uh something about power boost groove don't even get me started i don't know i don't know there we go look at the nose how about that nice subtle detail and added to this new version bunch of polka dots there swagalicious and then here on the ear up top and on the bottom, some uh, flashing, you know, arrow-like shapes with the blue polka dots as well. Subtle, subtle details. And then the black bumper guard. I know the new trend is for some companies to actually camouflage the bumper guard into this color of the hoop so that it's one unanimous look. But this one stays with the, the black. And on the inside of the hoop, up top, Dunlop, baby. Stunning racket. Can't wait. Oh, and how could I forget? The butt cap, baby. Not a bad looking butt cap. Silver chrome look. So, say less. 